Welcome back to the Michael Experiment, everybody. Um, I am here to reveal the new SNES games to play, and this one is Earthworm Jim 2. Now, this is a fantastic game. I already know this. We are going to run through it, though, and give it a review. And how I do this is I just play them for a bit and give them reviews. You know, with these older games, for the most part, you can do that. Um... So there is a password feature, apparently. Look at the distorted Super Nintendo controller. That's pretty cool. Okay. Hold on, I crank this music up real quick. The last couple games I have the music down for because they're just we're just annoying like arcade games, but let's crank this one up, man. Listen to that Sega or that um, Super Nintendo music, man. Okay. Anything but tangerines, apparently, guys. So there's anything but tangerines is what you want in this world. Apparently. I don't know. I think tangerines are probably fine. All right. So one thing I will uh, comment on right off the bat: good job on the on the input lag. I'm not noticing a lot of input lag. Again, these reviews are as much about the port as they're about anything else. Um, so yeah, definitely no input lag here. I really like that. Um, Jim feels good to control. Um, yeah, solid. You know, I'm not using a Sega Genesis controller, or sorry, Super Nintendo controller, or anything. Sorry, I associate this game with the Genesis, not with the Super Nintendo, so I keep saying that. Um, but the Super Nintendo version is clean. I've never actually played it, the Super Nintendo version because I had the Genesis growing up. So I actually haven't played this, and it, it, the control is really solid. Whoopee! Whoopee! <laughs> Whoopee. That's tight. I, mean, I have to play some more of this today, man. This is pretty rad, I'm not going to lie. I'm liking this. Yeah, this is good, guys. It definitely looks... I, I'll say it probably looks better than the Sega Genesis version, but I would be interested to see the... I kind of hope... I, w I, I wish they got the license for it on both Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo, because it would just be cool to see the difference. How do I get that? Oh, I have to whip it, right? I have to whip it? What the heck? I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Use the pig. What? What do you mean? Hold on, I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing here. Pig shoot. Oh, I see. Tad bit confusing. It's been so many years since I've played this game. How am I supposed to grab it, or what do I do? Oh, the pig shoot this thing? Like that? No, use the pig. What pig? I don't see any pig. pig they're referring to. Did I not, did I need to get a pig from somewhere? I'm just so confused. Ah, okay. I see. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! This game is so nuts. Alright. Pig shoot. Mm. 
And do I ride the pig or what do I do? Do I whip the pig? Um, I must need to get more than one pig. So confused. This is really weird, guys. Very, very unique game, though. I love the animation on this game. Um, you know, it really has aged pretty well. No, I guess you're not supposed to... Okay, then what? Oh! Oh, I guess that... Weird. Alright. So there's these little, like, puzzles you have to figure out, which is kind of interesting. We'll just do some whipping here. Oh. Hey, now. God dang it. There we go. Ha 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 ha. Fresh! <laughs> Yo. <coughs> <coughs> I don't understand what is happening in this game. Okay. How am I supposed to get past these ladies? I'm not trying to be fresh. I'm just trying to get past you ladies. Oh, I see. There we go. You have to speed up and slow down. That's really weird. No! Oh man. Oh man. Dang it. There we go. Man, I kind of missed out on this game. Okay, so how... Oh, you have to go on the, the pole, right? Ah, that's what I was doing wrong. Okay. Yeah, it's not immediately apparent what you need to do in this game, and I kind of like it. It. Um, what makes it unique is it, it relies less on hard platforming. I mean, there is hard platforming, I'm sure, but... And more on, like, controlling your environment, which is really cool. So, yeah, this game, I see why this game was such a revolution, you know? And I played it back in the day, but I don't think I really understood all those concepts that I just said to you right now. Um, that comes with years of, you know... Ooh, bonus! What's the bonus? What's the bonus, everybody? That's the question. Crap. I guess you can jump and then do this. Yeah, that's how you have to do. Light bulb. Oh, well, this like takes you off to another stage or something. Oh, the what is with the the stair climber? Like, whose idea was this? I just wonder what the pitch meeting was like for this thing. Uh, no, I'm not trying to be fresh. Dang it! This is the, like the bagpipes. Hold on, I gotta turn. Probably gonna be fresh, but I gotta turn this this music up a little bit. <laughs> it's like bagpipes. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can get through this. Oh! Oh! This is the bonus stage. No! I don't want it to go all the way back. This is an old school game for you. Look at that. <laughs> what this game was telling me is get good, basically. It's like, get good. Alright, we'll get good. Sheesh. I don't know if I was supposed to grab that Earthworm Gym icon. I have no idea. I don't know this game well enough. Alright, we did beat that. Like I said, I really think this game is cool. Um, if I had to score this game, I would say this game is probably a 9 or 10 out of 10. But um, first impressions, I'd say a 10 out of 10 classic game. Um, you know, if you guys have the Switch Online service, this is a great game to get a little time with. As it's an expensive game to buy, I know for sure. Um, but 
let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I hope y'all are having a great day.